Hi Cancer, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Universal Intuition. My name is Jacqueline. Thank you all so much for being here. Today's video is gonna be your September 2019 general reading, again for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Cancer Venus. I hope everyone's doing well. Thank you all again so much for your support, for likes, shares, subscribes, donations, all the beautiful things. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. Everyone, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Cancer, as we always do, we'll be doing an extended version of this reading. It's your love story. Um, I will be using the crystal vision for that one. The link is in the description box below. It's where we look at your partner, your soulmate, or your love interest. We're going to see how they feel about you at this time. What is y'all's mutual energy? And we'll also look at where your connection or where your relationship is going. So we'll look at potential outcome for that as well. Again, that video is in the description box below. Also in the description box is my Instagram. If you want to come follow, come say hello. I'd love to see you, meet you. Let's hang out. I am not taking on personal readings at this time. I might pick it up in a couple months, but I am taking a break from personals. All right. All right, for your reading, this is all about you, all about cancer. I'm going in today with my old school, uh, my oldie but my goodie <laughs> deck. It's called the Albano Weight Tarot deck. All right, spirit, what's going on with cancer? Cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. My sweet little sensitive water babies. I love y'all so much. I'm a Pisces sun and moon, but Cancer is my rising sign. So I definitely, definitely identify with Cancer for sure. All the water, right? All the feelings. <laughs> All right, Spirit, this is for Cancer. What do we have going on for Cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus in September 2019? What is their current energy and what's coming towards them? Spirit, what is something Cancer is hoping and wishing and praying for in September? Spirit, what is something that Cancer can release and let go of and not worry about anymore in September? And any other messages that we need to know about their environment, what's coming towards them for September 2019? Two more shuffles and we'll get into it. I feel like Oprah. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, Cancer, let's see what's going on. Bottom of the deck, we've got the Page of Cups in reverse as a part of your theme. We have the Ace of Swords behind that. Some of you are turning down a love offer. Some of you, there's someone, could be a water sign, a, Pi a fellow Pisces, Cancer, Scor a fellow Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio around you. Um, but you're just kind of like, nah, 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 I'm good. Like, we can be friends, we can be chill. But some of y'all are like not so interested. Or there's someone trying to start something with you. Uh, they may be flirting with you and you don't like it. Or they might be trying to ask you out on a date or ask you out for coffee or something. And you're just like, you're kind of like, it's like you found out something about this person and you're like, oh no, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of silly, kind of funny. All right, let's look at your current energy, Cancer. Let's see what's going on. What is your current vibe? This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, what is their current vibe? Yes, Cancer, yes, Ace of Wands. Woo, card almost matches my nails, y'all. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> Cancer, Ace of Wands is fire energy coming in. Ooh, a powerful message. Um, Cancer, this is beautiful. Ace of Wands is a passionate, exciting, thrilling, compassionate new beginning. There is something, whatever it is, that is just has your heart right now, if it's a personal project, if it's a relationship, a person, if it's uh, something at work, whatever it is that just you are super, super feeling um, the rush. I'm feeling the rush of inspiration, of creativity is just pouring through you. So beautiful aces, again, also do represent new beginnings. All right, let's get one more. Cancer, 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 what's going on? Oh my goodness, two aces right off the bat. Come on, Cancer. We have the Ace of Pentacles now with the Ace of Wands. 
double new beginning definitely could be a new job a new home a new relationship this is huge could be two of any of those three things um, these are obviously general readings so please keep in mind they're going to apply a little bit differently to each and every one of you um but wow this is like right off the bat at the beginning of the month spirit is like here you go cancer we love you so much we see your hard work we see you five of cups we've seen your emotional release we know it's been tough here you go here you go windfall of money a new opportunity new job some type of new job or new income something that you love to do is going to be coming in for a good 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 group of you i'm like thirsty already <laughs> All right, let's keep going. What's coming your way? What's also coming in? What's coming in for, for Cancer? <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. That's way too many cards. Ten of Wands in reverse. We're not taking on anyone's crap, anyone's pain, anyone's ugh, anymore, anymore, anymore. Cancer, it's been this huge realization coming in for you um, that is shifting your gears. It's shifting um, everything for you. It's putting you in alignment. You also just got the uh, Wheel of Fortune. So Wheel of Fortune is about karma. It's about um, good things coming to you, kind of the essence of time, you know, things really speeding up in your favor things starting to go well for you right so very very good huge sigh of relief i'm feeling here and that with the ten of wands is like your action to take the lesson for you is the ten of wands right so you've you've already established or are currently about to establish a complete ending of something something maybe a job that you're over a situation a potential or a partnership that you are done with there's something that you've just been it's been uphill it's been a struggle it's been a battle i can't take one more day of this i can't do this any more you called it it's done and now you're it's like okay i'm walking back downhill now you know i'm gonna leave those i'm gonna leave those wands up there and i'm moving on i'm letting them all go right and as we choose this is a choice cancer as we choose to not take on other people's responsibilities showing up for other people doing what uh, everyone else wants us to do when we decide to look at our path and know what's the best for us boom we could become an alignment again another 10 here a completion so lots of lots of major endings and lots of new beginnings coming in for you um and i think for a lot of it it has to do with your personal um energy of you shifting into a place of uh, again realizing it's almost a little bit i've been feeling like a little bit of past energy these past couple of days or weeks for you have been really intense and very draining that you've just been showing up so strongly for your partner for your friends your family for your job you've just been go 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 hustle 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 and it's like it all hit you and you're like oh my god i'm freaking tired i'm exhausted i have to stop doing all this stuff for other people what about me and as soon as you realize that and start taking physical action to change that boom blessings 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 abundance presence goodies all the beautiful lovely things of the universe are coming in tangible real things things for you to celebrate cancer this is great i love it i love it let's get one more what's coming in for cancer and then we'll go to your what you're hoping and wishing for i want to know what this wheel of fortune is about yeah i got two uh, death card and the queen of pentacles could be dealing with a uh, a scorpio with the death card or an earth sign virgo taurus capricorn for some of you for some of you something again it's like something's ending it's like you've decided to walk away from something and now you're transforming your energy is transforming you it's like it's like a snake shedding its skin my skin kept getting thicker because I was dealing with this and I was there for that person. And I took on that thing and I'm just, it's like your skin at, with every step was getting thicker and thicker and thicker. And then you were like, that's it. I can't, I can't. So therefore it's like, I'm going to shed that skin. I'm, I'm, I did what I did. It's in the past. 
I was there for those people, but I got to look out for me now. Transformation. Boom. Beautiful. Right? And then we come into alignment. And then we come into, again, uh, I'm hearing gift giving. It's like it's Christmas time in September for you already. <laughs> Cancer. So Queen of Pentacles, this is putting you in a very luxurious and a very abundant type of energy. Queen of Pentacles, whether you're male or female watching, is good. Um, uh, you have solid resources. Again, money is looking really, really promising. If it's not money, it's resources. You have help. You have abundance. Um, things are going to happen very naturally for you. You're also able to nurture yourself. You're really good at taking care of other people at this time. That is not your main focus. I really think this Queen of Pentacles this month, which is a part of your energy this month, Cancer, is to... I'm hearing lavish, just to treat yourself, go in, go buy those shoes you want, go do the things you wanna go do, take that vacation, um, and just really take care of yourself. A lot of you are also, um, a quick message with this 10 of wands, something that you're completely transforming is your health, your diet. Um, you could ha be releasing um, you know, certain things that are toxic from you, like maybe you've decided to quit smoking cigarettes or you know what I mean? Like you're changing your day-to-day -day routine, you're changing your day-to-day -day habits. Beautiful time to do that in Virgo season. It kind of what is a huge part of what Virgo season is about, kind of that cleaning house, getting organized, back to school, refresh calendars, planning, getting organized, right? So I feel like with, with all of that being said, <clears throat> it's like you're shifting and getting rid of something that doesn't work for you anymore. If this is not about a partnership, if this is not about a job, <clears throat> this is about like, again, quitting smoking cigarettes or I'm gonna quit, you know, I'm not gonna have so many drinks every night or I'm gonna, you know, something like that is dwindling down and something that's really healthy and really good for you. If you're deciding to dress better, eat better, drink more water, it's all working in your favor. Very good. Oh, oh, cancer. I'm so proud of y'all. Hold on, let me put all these cards back together. Okay, beautiful. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Some of y'all are smoking, <laughs> not cigarettes. Give me cotton mouth. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Let's look at what you're wishing and hoping for. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in September. Spirit, what is Cancer wishing and hoping for? Spirit, what is Cancer wishing and hoping for in September? Five of Pentacles with the King of Cups. Some of you are wishing for your King of Cups, a fellow Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or just someone that's mature to love you, really. If they're not a water sign, it's like, I'm I'm tired of, of, of being without. Some of you are like, I don't want to be single. I want to be with my King or Queen. It could be male or female. It could be male, male, female, female. Right? So what you want is, I want to get out of this. It could be about money for some of you. Five of Pentacles sometimes can be fear uh, around finances. This is falling right under the Ace of Pentacles. So if it is, any fears around um, transitioning jobs or what am I going to do in the meantime, finances, getting all that organized, my sweet little cancer, don't worry any longer because that opportunity is being fixed immediately. I think with these two cards together, what you're really wanting, what you're hoping and wishing and wanting is to not be out in the cold, is to have some type of mature companion, okay, whether that's a friend, whether, you know, some of you are looking for more friends, some of you are looking for a love, a real, true, mature, someone that's there, someone who has experience, someone who is solid in their emotions. That's what you want. That's what you want, Cancer. I know, Cancer, I know what you want. We also have the hangman at the bottom of the deck, right? So some of you might be in contemplation mode. You might be also changing your perspective. And sometimes the, sometimes the lesson with the Five of Pentacles is not really feeling that, it, you know, you feel without, you feel like, I don't, I don't have those things, right? But if you actually shift your energy and change your perspective, actually, when you look around at what you do have, it changes your perspective and it changes your vibration and it brings in more abundance, right? I'm just saying, all right, let's look at what you can release and let go of in September. Spirit, what can, what can Cancer release and let go of September 2019? 
Queen of Wands, some of you are uh, looking to remove a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius out of your life. You will be successful at that venture or they might be leaving your life either way. Some of you, are, there's there's a very overpowering, if this is not a fire sign, it's a, it's a very strong, could be male or female, but I feel like a strong motherly vibe. Um, grandmother, grandparent, could be like a sassy dad, I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, there's someone in, there's a particular person in your life that you're just like, can they leave already? It's like the annoying, nagging, like overbearing, like person at work that you're just like, oh, Susan's here. You know, if your name's Susan, you know what I mean? I mean, no offense, but it, you're just like, oh my gosh, they're just, I, all I can do is hear them talk. You know, all I can do is just hear them gossip or hear them uh, this or trying to control this. It's like there's someone who you think is a, I'm hearing manipulator. There's, there's a manipulator in your energy and you want them to be gone. So you don't need to worry about them anymore. I think they're going to be successfully removed. Yeah, justice is behind that too. And it's what you've been praying for. So for some of you, whatever your queen of wands is, if it's a physical person um, or the essence of someone uh, being so fiery, being so demanding, that is something to not worry about that's being taken care of for you. You will, you will find success in that removal, okay? All right, let's see what else is coming in for Cancer for September 2019, what is coming towards Cancer that they need to know. Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles to the Six of Swords. Ooh, the tower. So some of you might be uh, sensing a tower moment. You feel like there could be a change coming in, a change in direction, right? The wind might be blowing a different way. Um, I don't know why I said that. That means something to someone. We have the Two of Pentacles coming your way to the Six of Swords. So it's like you're going to have to make a choice. You're kind of juggling a lot. Pentacles, again, represent your earthly possessions. Your It could be your job, your home, your finances. There's something. You're a little bit emotional about it. The seas are rather, the waves are rather big there in the background. So it's an emotional time to get away right? So I feel like the Six of Swords is for you to mentally feel better. You might be thinking or planning, trying to plan a vacation, a getaway of some kind with your family or going back home to your family um, for a good group of you, Cancer. So planning, trying to prioritize, save your money. Um, and with this Ace of Pentacles, honestly, I feel like and anything financially um, that you need to travel or to, you know, feel better. Maybe uh, some of you also might be um, saving up and thinking about going to therapy, um, a counselor, a therapist, or something like that, which I recommend for everybody at some point in their life. We all need someone to talk to, right? <laughs> um, but regardless, it's like you want to get better. You're, you're trying to put um, practical steps in place to feel better mentally, whatever that means to you. A person to talk to, a vacation, whatever that is for you. So very good. All right, the hangman just flew out again. Uh, energy of Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So a change in perspective. A change in perspective. Something that you've never thought about before is gonna make itself known to you probably through meditation or prayer or some type of epiphany coming in out of nowhere when you're in a beautiful solid space it'll come in when you least suspect it anything else for cancer sun moon rising and venus september 2019 any final messages for cancer all right beautiful we have the Page of Wands, and then the Three of Pentacles in reverse. And I felt this at the very, very beginning of your reading, and I'm rem being reminded of it again now. I feel like there's going to be a huge opportunity for you this month, Cancer, where you're going to have to go on solo and do something. It's like, I'm kind of seeing it as like, there's a group project, because Three of Pentacles in reverse. Say there's a group project I'm thinking back in school, like when you're in school and they're like, hey, so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so, y'all are working on this play together, perform it on Friday, blah, 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 or perform this project, perform whatever. And you're like, okay, we've been planning, 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 planning. Here comes the day, everyone in my group is sick or something happened, it's just me. Oh crap, it's just me. You're getting, you're like being put on the spot 
for something, but you actually can do it. You can act, you can actually do it all by yourself and you've actually thought about it before. You're like, actually, I feel like I could do this by myself. It's like you manifest in some way for you to show up by yourself for all of the attention, for it to all, for all the attention to be on you, but for a good reason for you to get recognized in something. Um, wow, it's super, super intuitive. It's like a very specific thing I saw. But overall, beautiful energy. Page of Wands just in general is um, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, you have a drive, you have creativity, you have passion towards something and that again with the three of pentacles in reverse is it's like something on your own something that you want to do like you want to see the results from your own hard work it's like i don't want to lean and depend on anyone else i want to I, I think i can do it or i know i can do it this time so beautiful lots of very different things happening cancer very exciting reading i love 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 the very beginning of this reading for you i love the whole thing wheel of fortune tons of cool things possibly a vacation someone annoying is being removed from your life love is coming in huge transformation huge huge personal gains are coming in for you cancer super super proud of you money's looking great resources so so bravo i'm going to go ahead and end it there and we're going to jump into your love reading um so if you're interested than that the link is just downstairs in the description box below if this is where we part cancer i love y'all so much thank you for your continued support likes shares subscribes donations all the beautiful things bye